When we are doing CPU cooler reviews, I am always and absolutely sticking to the out of the box setup. Now you could argue that changing up the fan of an air cooler or an AIO will show how much more potential there truly is for the heatsink or RAD. And that's definitely true. And we do have a series for that in mind. But for somebody who is just asking himself if he should be getting a cooler A or cooler B, it's just not really that interesting for him. Great for a standout series, but not for a dedicated product review. And here comes the new Xilence M906, Xilence's biggest, newest and beefiest flagship cooler, which, yeah, did not even beat the much smaller and less powerful M705. Yeah, I was quite underwhelmed with this thing. If you haven't watched the original review, make sure to, to watch that one first, but to make it short, it's okay, it's actually even quite good for its own class. After all, it was the best single tower, single fan cooler we have seen so far, except for the noise to performance ratio. But it was completely outperformed by Xilinx's much older, thinner and smaller heat pipe counter M705. And that just did not make any sense to me. Now, during the initial review, I was actually so disappointed with the numbers that Hardware Monitor was showing to me that I decided that this just can't be it. Fortunately, I had a bunch of Xilinx XPF 120Xs lying just right next to me because we were doing the reviews at the same time. So without further ado, let's take a look at what happens if we decide to use the spare fan clip set which Xilinx provides with each of those coolers and see if the cooler is at least capable of performing as well as the older M705D. Dip, 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 dip. Meet the M905D, the cooler that barely can stand on its own. First up is letting both fans ramp up to max speed on the same test bench we use for CPU cooler benchmarks. From the original 51.9 degrees C above ambient, the double fanned version managed to get that number down to 50.9. <sighs> That's not enough. Although it's a 1.4 degrees C improvement, which I mean, it's still one and a half degrees behind the M705D, although the heatsink is significantly bigger. I mean, there, there is an argument about thin density maybe, and, and you could make that, but it's just, this is just not supposed to happen. But what about noise? Maybe, just maybe, did the additional fan help that much with noise 2 performance that the M906D can now beat something? Yes and no. In red we have the original M906 and in violet we have the double fan version. Now, yes, this is a lot better, don't get me wrong. Of course, it's slightly louder on the upper end, which makes sense. Now it has two fans instead of one, that doesn't make sense. And the overall noise to performance graph improved significantly. Actually, it improved quite significantly. The problem is that the cooler it, it was able to outperform is now Xilinx's M704 ARGB, which really isn't that much of an achievement given how these two com coolers compare in size. So where does this come from? Well, there are so many variables right now, but the most logical to me is the fact that this is the only Xilinx cooler that uses a big-ass copper nickel-plated base. Sure, a lot of coolers do so, but until now, none of Xilinx's coolers used one, and maybe that was indeed the reason why things like the M705D performed so well and were almost able to compete with dual tower coolers. And even the M704, though it was a very thin cooler with just a single fan, that thing was rocking compared to alternatives in the same category or the, or the same size category. The M906 just doesn't. And this does make a lot of sense. Just think about it. For example, an Arctic Freezer 34, eSport or eSport Duo, it really doesn't matter. Both of them have a direct touch 
uh, heat pipe design in the bottom. And if we remember how those two are performing on the max performance chart, considering how extremely thin the heatsink is, it's a wonder how well they are performing. Especially if you remember when they were released. Back then, they there were way bigger uh, coolers around and they were not even close to them. And even what was released after that, if we just compare on, on our chart the direct touch copper heat pipes design with the nickel plated designs, it's, you can clearly see a trend. A, not a trend where direct touch copper heat pipes are dominating the chart in, in the upper range, it's AIOs and things, enormous things like the Nokia NH D15, but considering their size, they are outperforming significantly bigger uh, nickel plated bases. Uh, that's that's like a sign. You can clearly see a trend and the M705 was following that trend perfectly. And the M906 double just proves that there is something to that. It really seems like uh, direct touch copper heat pipe bases are performing significantly better than the alternative. So for now, that's what I'm assuming. The base is crap. I'm, no, okay, no, that's what a bad word. The base could be different and thus be better. Very unfortunate, I really thought that maybe the fan was just maybe not capable of pushing so much heat through that whole thing here, but no, the improvement was still there, sure, but it was just not enough, by far. So yeah, that was about it for the M906 double. I hoped, but no. Though to be honest, I am really thinking about getting one of those belt sanders, those really straight ones, which I could then just grind away the base until we are at the copper uh, heat pipes. I have no clue how much heat pipe I would need to grind away until we open the pipe. No clue how big the inner diameter of that pipe is, but it would make for a really fun experiment. I'm just pretty much sure that I will just kill this thing. Though also on that note, I'm really not sure if you can take a, a nickel-plated copper base and then grind away until you are at the heat pipes. I have no clue if that works at all, but I would really love to find out. But you let me know, should we do that? I think, yeah, I think we will do that. But okay, this should be it for our attempt on uh, saving the M906. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And of course, we also have channel membership, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to, you guessed it, get a belt grinder for science. Anyway, thank you for watching, but if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the M705. It is better than the M906, clearly. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.